As product leaders, it's important to recognize that at least half of our early product concepts and features won't work out. But what do we do with these failures? There are standard answers like learning, running a retrospective, pivoting, and celebrating. But how do we actually celebrate failure? Over time, I have learned how to celebrate failure by failing at the celebration process. Let's take a look at the different approaches I tried. At first, I didn't acknowledge the failure and moved on full steam ahead. This approach left the team feeling unacknowledged and hurt. Next, I sent personalized thank you notes to each team member. The responses were polite but underwhelming. Then, I tried a retrospective, giving the team a chance to share their experiences. However, the mood barely changed. Finally, I had the team share the successes, learnings, and challenges of the project in a larger form. Still not enough. The right approach is a combination of all these methods. As leaders, our teams often take a bigger hit with failure than we do ourselves. It's our job to provide acknowledgement, celebration, and closure. As a leader, you need to keep your team inspired, energetic, and excited. Failures will happen. How you celebrate them will determine how willing your team will be to take the next journey with you.